Windows updates are important to secure your system, improve performance, and provide access to the latest features. Regular updates patch security vulnerabilities, add driver support, and ensure compatibility with new apps and services. However, sometimes you may notice that a Windows 11 update is not downloading, gets stuck during installation, or fails to install altogether. There are several reasons your Windows 11 update fails to install or stuck download. Slow internet connection, a minor system glitch, an active VPN, insufficient disk space, and corrupt Windows system files are common. Whether Windows update stuck download or keeps fail to install with different error code, here is how to fix and install the update right way. Microsoft include built-in Windows update troubleshooter designed to automatically detect and fix Windows update issues. Open settings, go to system then troubleshoot and click on other troubleshooters. Now locate Windows update and click run. It checks for missing or damaged components, reconfigures incorrect settings and resets services that might have failed silently. Once it complete, reboot your PC and try install Windows updates again. Updates require a stable internet connection to download files from Microsoft servers. Slow, interrupted or unstable connections can lead to incomplete downloads or updates getting stuck. Again, VPNs and proxies can also interfere with Microsoft's CDN, Content Delivery Network, causing region or routing mismatches. Run ping command to test the stability of your connection. Visit speed test website like speedtest.net or fast.com and check your download and upload speeds. If your speed is significantly lower than expected, restart your router or contact your ISP. If you're on Wi-Fi, take your laptop closer to the router or try switching to a wired Ethernet connection for more stable performance during updates. In addition, if you're using a VPN, disconnect it temporarily and try checking for updates again. The update cache stores temporary files related to downloaded updates. If these files become corrupted or incomplete, future updates may get stuck or fail repeatedly. Clearing this cache deletes all problematic files and forces Windows to re-download them from scratch, often resolving persistent errors in the update process. To clear update cache, first, we have to stop Windows Update and its related services. Press Windows plus S, type Services and press Enter. Scroll down and locate Windows Update, right-click and select Stop. Now open File Explorer. Locate the C drive and open it. Look for and open Windows folder then Software Distribution. Open the Download folder and delete all files inside this. Now restart the Windows Update services you stopped earlier. That's all. Now open Settings, go to Windows Updates and check for updates. If Windows Update can't fetch or install a patch automatically, downloading the exact update manually bypasses the internal updater and delivers the package directly. This is especially helpful for cumulative or security updates that fail through Windows Update due to internal misconfigurations, regional restrictions, or missing prerequisites. Open your favorite web browser, search for Microsoft Update Catalog, and open the official website. In the search bar, enter the KB number of the update. For example, KB 5060842 is for latest one for Windows 11. Download the appropriate version for your system. Run the downloaded.msu file and follow the prompts to install it. Once done, restart your computer to apply changes. Windows needs free space to download, extract, and install update files, especially larger feature updates. If your drive is nearly full, Windows update may fail silently or display errors. 
freeing up space ensures the update has room to work. Press Windows key plus S, type Disk Cleanup and open it. Select C Drive and OK. It identifies and removes unnecessary files from your computer's hard drive, freeing up storage space. You can also consider moving personal files to an external storage device. Also, open Settings, Apps, then Installed Apps. Here, uninstall applications you no longer use. Third-party antivirus software or firewalls can block access to update servers, prevent files from being written to system folders, or interfere with background services. Temporarily disabling them removes a major source of conflict and allows updates to proceed without interference. Open your antivirus software. Find the option to disable real-time protection or turn off temporarily. Also, open Windows Security, go to Virus and Threat Protection, then click on Manage Settings and disable the real-time protection. In addition, click on Firewall and Network Protection and temporarily disable Firewall Protection for private network or domain network. Then try install the Windows updates again. Windows relies on several services like Windows Update, Bits, and cryptographic services to manage downloads, authenticate files, and install updates. If any of these services freeze, crash, or stop running, updates may hang indefinitely. Restarting them refreshes their state, clears internal queues, and helps updates resume normally. Press Windows key, type services, and open it. Scroll down and look for Windows Update Service. If it's not started, right-click on it and select Start. If the service already running, right-click on it and select the Restart option. Same way, look for and restart the Background Intelligent Transfer Service and Cryptographic Services. Once done, close the window and try Check For and install Windows Updates again. Again, corrupted or missing system files can break the update mechanism at a deep level. Running the system file checker command SFC slash scan now scans for these problems and automatically replaces damaged files. The scanning may take some time around 10 to 20 minutes depending on level of system file corruption. In addition, DI SM deployment image servicing and management command goes a step further by repairing the Windows image itself. Together, they restore system health and fix underlying issues that may prevent updates from applying. Let both command complete 100% and reboot your PC. After that, try install Windows updates again. Clean boot mode starts Windows with only essential Microsoft services Eliminate unnecessary background tasks that might interfere with the update. To start your PC in clean boot, press Windows plus R, type MSC config, and press enter to open system configuration window. Go to the services tab. Check the box for hide all Microsoft services, then click disable all. Now go to the startup tab and click open task manager. Here, disable all startup items one by one. Once done, close Task Manager and click OK in System Configuration. Restart your PC. This will boot it in clean boot mode. After restarting, go to Settings, Windows Update and click Check for Updates. I hope this video helped fix Windows update problems on your computer. Feel free to share your feedback on comments below. Thanks for watching.